So in previous video, we have seen the introduction of cache memory and how to measure the performance of cache memory. Now in this video, we will look into the address mapping technique. And out of three techniques, we will use or we will see the direct mapping. Now address mapping means decide which block of main memory has to be placed where in the cache memory. Right. And there are three types of mapping process direct mapping, associative mapping, and self associative mapping. Now let's first look into direct mapping. So, the direct mapping in direct mapping, the kth block of main memory, kth block of main memory is placed in kth mode n, kth mode nth block of cache memory. Now let's see the different terminology here that we have used. So what we are doing from main memory, we are putting some block. We are putting some block into S memory, right? And that is using this equation. So kth block of main memory. So we'll perform some modular operation with n, and the result will be the block of cache memory where we have to put the block of main memory right okay now assume there are 32 words in your main memory right because in your main memory so your physical address decided based on your number of words in your main memory and word size can be 8 bits, 16 bits, 32 bits, likewise. Right? There are 32 words in your main memory, 16 words in cache memory. So, out of these 32 words, 16 words you can put in your cache memory. Not 16, yes, yeah, 16 words you can put in your cache memory right and block size is four words means in one block in one block in one block there are four words there are four words in one block and what we are doing we are copying one block from main memory to cache memory so we are copying four words at a time right and your physical address right so whenever you want to access some portion of main memory, what we'll do? The CPU will generate a physical address. It's this word we I want to read. CPU will do that. Right? So physical address that is decided based on number of words in your main memory. Right? So in main memory you have 32 words. 32 words. So to address the 32 words, how many bits are required? 5 bits. Because 2 raised to 5, right? So 5 bits are required. Now, this is your cache memory, right? How many words are there in cache memory? 16 words are there. 16 words are there. And if I divide these 16 words with the block size, that is 4 word. So 16 by 4, that is 4. So 4 blocks are or we can construct four blocks in your cache memory right so your capital n number of blocks in cache memory that is four we are using that we are performing a module operation with that only right number of blocks in cache memory now your main memory how many words are there 32 words are there what is the block size four words so how many blocks will be in main memory there will be eight blocks in your memory zero to seven and capital m is number of blocks in your main memory that is eight zeroth block one two three four five six seven likewise now in zeroth block in zeroth block your word number zero word number one word number two and word number three will be there in which block zeroth block 
in one, four, five, six, seven. These words will be in block number one. Same way up to seven, right? Your last word that is thirty-one, right? Zero to thirty-one. So total thirty-two words that will be in block number seven. Now let's see how to place block from main memory to cache memory. So if I want to place this block of main memory into cache memory, so first what I need to do, your zero means zeroth block of main memory. So your k is zero, this one. So zero modulo what capital N? What is capital N? Number of blocks in cache memory. So that is four. So if you perform this modulo operation, zero mod four, the result is zero. So zeroth block of cache memory. So it will be placed in zeroth block of cache memory. Right? So now your zeroth block that can be placed here. It cannot be placed in this one, two, or three. Right? Whatever the resultant block in that block only, it will be placed. Take another one. This one, second block, if I want to put into cache memory, then perform module operation. So K is 2 because we want to put this memory block. 2 modulo, capital N is 4, is equal to 2. So it will be placed in this second block. We are starting with 0. Remember this, right? Because we are dealing with binary number. 4 modulo 4. So this block I want to put. So 4 modulo 4, 0. So this will be placed here. Now you can see overlapping. The 0 block can be here in cache memory 0 block. 4th block can also be here. Right. So how your CPU will know or how CPU will get the correct word. Right. So, if it is a block 0, then word number 0, 1, 2, 3 will be there. Right? If it is block 4, then other words will be there. So, the correct identification of that block number is required. Either block 0 is present or block 4 of main memory is present. Right? So, for that, so for that, you require tag bit. Okay? So, these are the tag fields associated with your cache memory. So this tag field is used to identify which block is present here. Right? Which block is present here. So that is the use of tag. Okay. Now how to put the bits in this tag? How to put bits in this tag? So which are the main memory blocks that can be placed in block 0 of cache memory? Which are the probable candidates for this? So if you perform module operation, then 0 and 4 will give you result 0. So they are the probable candidates, 0 and 4. For block number 1, 1 and 5. For block number 2, 2 and 6. For block number 3, 3 and 7. Right. So here 0 or 4, here 1 or 5, here 2 or 6, here 3 or 7. So what I need to do, if any block is present, so the indication is either 0 or 1 or 4. Right. So for to distinguish this one, I just require one another bit. Right. And that is your tag bit. So here I require only one bit. If it is 0, then 0. If it is 1, then that is a 4. Right? If it is a 0, it is 1. If it is a 1, then it is 5. Block number 5. Right? So 0 and 1. 1 bit means 0 and 1. If it is 0, then this block is present at particular S memory block. Right? If this is the one, this is the one, 
then these are the probable candidates four five six five okay so this can be placed here okay now let's see the example zero one two three block four block eight memory block so zero modulo four zero modulo four right so it is placed here and tag is set that is zero because the block is zero the block is zero okay what another thing you can interpret right no need to perform this operation every time if you want to uh, write directly then how many blocks you have in your main memory eight so how many bits are required three bits right three bits are required one two and three now three bits are required <clears throat> now represent this zero in three bits zero 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 right so first one that is your tag and last two that is your block number so this block will go into block number zero and the tag is zero right and how to divide this one based on your how many blocks are in your cache so four blocks are there so to decide which block how many bits are required two bits that's why i kept this two bits right now take another one four four if you represent one zero zero right three bits right because zero to seven three bit maximum and how to divide this one based on this four two raised to two so two bits so two bits this is for cache and this is for tag so zero zero so block number zero tag is one if it is four let's take this two for two three bits zero one zero this is for block this is for tag so one zero block two this is two and tag zero simple seven modulo four right one 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 two bits and tag one one means third this one notice the tag one so it is one. okay so i am using block number here <clears throat> four modulo four so that example i have given you so now the tag is changed one and this block will be placed here physical address because what cpu will give cpu will give you physical address if you want to access word not block cpu want to access word not block okay but from main memory to cache memory what we are copying we are copying block right so it might possible that cpu want to access from this block 0 1 2 and 3 cpu want to access this uh, this word right word number 1 this word want to access right so what cpu will do the, through physical address you will get in which block your uh, main memory block is placed and in that right now you have four words in this block so from these four blocks i need to uh, give where the word is right so i need to give the word location so zero one two three so it is at place zero one this is at place zero zero this is one zero this is one one now next is four five six seven so again this is at zero zero this is at zero one one zero one one right so this is called a word offset means you get the block but after getting that block where your word is so using that you can get word offset so in direct mapping your physical address is divided in three portion your tag your catch block offset and your word offset this is your physical address and how many bits on physical address 
that depends on how many words you have in your main memory how many words so how many words are there in your memory there are 32 words in your main memory 32 words so the physical address is if you represent in 2 to the power then this is 2 to the power 5 so 5 bits of physical address so whenever cpu want to access any word it will give you 5 bits it will give you 5 bits now this 5 bits is divided like this some portion some bits are tag some bits are catch block offset means which catch block and some bits are after locating that catch block at which place you will get the particular word that is called a word offset it is called a word offset okay so as you know in one block in one block what is your block size block size block size is four words block size is four words so word offset word offset that is if you represent this block size in 2 to the power 2 raised to 2 or take a log block size this 2 that will give you that will give you how many bits required for word offset 2 to the power 2 and this is word offset so 2 bits for word offset catch block offset catch block offset means which catch block we have how many blocks four blocks so if you represent in 2 to the power 2 raised to 2 right 2 raised to 2 so 2 raised to 2 so how many bits 2 bits for catch block offset so catch block offset will decide which catch block word offset will decide in that catch block which word in that which word right and this tag bit will verify whether the particular block that we want is present or not right so now two bits two bits so five minus four one bit for tag one bit for tag. okay or equation using equation you want to find out then first uh, your number of blocks in main memory number of blocks in cache memory your m by n m by n and if you take log of it that will give you how many bits are required for tag right so log of m by n base 2 right will give you how many bits are required for Now let's take one example that word number 9 if you want to access word number 9 right so what cpu will does cpu will generate physical address for this word number 9 word number 9 right and we want to check whether it is present in cache or not this is the present scenario and we want to okay so now let's represent this in binary so 9 is 1 0 0 1 and 5 bit physical address so this is 0 right so it is represented like this okay <coughs> 0 1 0 0 1 this is your physical address you can see 5 bits so we are getting 5 bits now out of this 5 bits the division will be like this egg catch block offset and word offset so 2 bits for word offset once you locate and finalize that the block is present in your cache then 2 bits for your catch block offset 
and one bit for tag one bit for tag let me erase this one okay one bit for tag so first what uh, this cpu will do first using this catch block offset it identifies in which block of cache memory the block of main memory can be present right so using one zero it is two so the chances are or not chances if main memory block okay of this word number nine if it is placed then it must be in this block number two right it must be in block number two but but right we are not sure that that block is here or some another block is here right because in two because in two which block can be placed this block can be placed right and here block number six this can also be placed here so the block uh, your word number nine is part of this block right eight nine and eleven it is part of block number two if this six is present then you will not get that word right so first what we have done first we have identified the cache block right then we will check whether this block is present or not right so that thing can be checked using this tag that thing can be used using tag so tag is zero compare this with the tag so that is zero means yes the block that we want that is placed that is placed here these are the cache block number okay so block number two that we want that is placed here now this thing is done we have located the cache block of cache block we have located the class block where that word uh where that main memory block is placed right so this is the place now from that block at which place that word is right so to find that we have a word offset so here the words present are word 9 8 9 10 and 11 so i need need ninth so this is 0 1 means you can see this is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so 0 1 so see this using this physical address we have located the word in your cache memory okay so physical address remember this physical address deals with your word offset okay h block offset that is used to locate that main memory word if it is placed in your cache memory then where is the place and tag is used to check if i place the correct block or not right here two candidates are there two and six two and six so out of this two and six which block is present right so the correct block is present okay <coughs> bits are same so what is present now try to solve this example so in main memory 512 words are there your cache memory 64 words are there and block size is 16 words so now try to answer this question how many bits for physical address right so when it is a physical address you need to see words in main memory how many tag bits are required so i have shown you how to find out that okay how many bits are required for catch offset how many bits are required for word offset then you need to place this main memory blocks in cache memory okay and show the tag of each cache 
to the tag of each case right then check whether these words are present or not and so how right so in previous here i have shown you how it is present how can i prove it so this way i have proven it okay same thing you need to do thank you very much